What's up, Android boys and girls? This is Shinobi123, and I'm going to do a video for. It's right here. PSX for Droid. It's a PlayStation emulator. It works pretty well. The only problem is a lot of the games don't seem to work very well, but the ones that do work do work well. Um. This has an option. You can uh, you can use the uh, Wiimote controller if you want as well. But um, I think on some of these phones it doesn't work correctly. This is the Samsung uh, Galaxy X S, Galaxy S, and um, I tried it out. It doesn't seem to work on this, unfortunately. So maybe in the future it will. But um, so you you've got to use the on-screen controls, which aren't the best. So I have a f I have a few games that I've made work, or that I've found that I've downloaded and can work. Like Digimon World, this works. Of course, it was saved. It's loading from like a saved game. But um, yeah, it's got just like everything else, just like the uh, other emulators, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, Game Boy Advance. Same thing. You can go to menu. Go to settings. You can save everything. You can load, save games, reset, take screenshots. The settings. Oh, as well. If even if you want to play any game, you've got to have the BIOS file. So I'll try to put a link. But of course, you know, you just, you want to Google PlayStation BIOS file or PSX or PS1 BIOS file, something like that. You should be able to find it. Uh, you know, sound options, scaling, key mappings, all that. And then the use input method would be if you uh, had the Bluetooth controller, like the Wemo controller. But again, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work on the Samsung Galaxy S. But, um, and you know, this game I don't really know very well. Uh, it looks cool. I guess I have to go fight people. The sound is good. The graphics look awesome. Uh, this is version 1.1 for PSX for Droid. So you can you can just go look for it in uh, the Android market. around you as guys you can fight. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I downloaded a bunch of games and um, they're really large files and uh, a lot of them are not working. Some of them you can load up and uh, you know they start up but then they, they freeze and things like that. Here's a battle. See, so I'm gonna get out of this. You can hit back and close it. Um, Like Mortal Kombat Trilogy, it starts up. This is from a save state. But if I reset it, it starts and then just at the title screen, unfortunately, it freezes. And uh, a lot of the other games I've tried, they just uh, they won't start up at all. But uh, I think I have two other games I can show you that actually work. Uh, one is Street Fighter vs. X Men. And the other's a, an Atari Classics game. See, it'll freeze right here, unfortunately. As far as I can get. So, let's get out of this. But, as you'll see with Street Fighter uh, vs. X-Men, 
I mean, the game's great, but it's hardest to use the on-screen controls. But it's probably really hard to see, but I actually try, was trying different things to make it easier to feel the joystick, and I put small squares of tape. I put small squares of tape on top of uh, the screen, so you can actually kind of feel when you're touching the screen, and uh, it helps a little bit better. So yeah, it's a little bit of a pain, but it's, it's uh, definitely a, an idea, you know, if you really have to play an emulator on your phone. Because without doing it that way, it's really, really hard to play. If I remember right, this version 1.1 has R2 and L2, and version 1 didn't have that, so there's a few improvements in this new version. Okay, I'll just show you one other game. But yeah, I mean, speed and everything's good. It's definitely playable. Whoops, went too far, didn't I? The last one I have is this. Activision Classics. Uh, let's start from the beginning. This is it, kids. This is where it all started. This is where it all began. There's some actually really awesome games that Activision made back in the early 80s. Keystone Capers is awesome. River Raid. I can only start it. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Alright, there you go. So, uh, yeah. It works for the games that you can find that work. <clears throat> it works really well, so yeah. It's called PSX for Droid. And this is Shinobi1. Uh, feel free to subscribe and comment. Alright, see ya.